Hey, good news, everybody. The snow plows have broken through. It won't be long before we can all go home. Isn't that great? Fantastic. I can't wait to get back to Harmony so my mom can take a look at my leg. Did you see Charity and Miguel at the Speed Lodge? Are they okay? They're okay now. Thank God they made it through the avalanche. They were shaken up, but they're all right. Where's Kay? Uh, she went back to Harmony with Miguel and Charity. Is everything okay here? Oh, everything's fine. No one in the house has a problem except Whitney. What's that all about? I don't know, but I think I better find out. What's going on with Whitney and her sister? Someone's mad because Whitney's coming down on her hard for hanging around me. You know, what else is new? Sibling rivalry. There's nothing like it. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that, man. But yo, what I do know is that their mom, Dr. Russell, can't stand the idea of me being anywhere near her daughters. Really? Yeah. Dr. Russell doesn't like you? Oh, man, she can't stand me. I mean, yo, that woman is so conservative. She's like a borderline Puritan. I mean, she's so, so sure that I'm going to corrupt her precious little girls. Will you? I would never do anything to hurt Whitney or someone. Look, I believe you, and Eve Russell should believe you too. You know, and she should also know that you pulled Whitney out of that snowdrift and saved her after the avalanche. You saved her life, Chad. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't do it to, to, to score brownie points with Dr. Russell. I, of course not. And I'm sure she will come around in time. But I just hope you don't let her disapproval keep you from getting close to Whitney. Close to Whitney? Man, yeah, whatever would make you think I'd want to do something like that. Well, you're saying you're not interested in Whitney? Look, man, it, there's a big difference between wanting to get close to somebody and, and, and actually fawn for them, right? But you do want to get close to her, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Well, Whitney's a terrific person. She's showing nothing like any girl I've ever been with. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. No, I mean, you can meet someone totally different and they can shake up your whole life. Hey, Manny, are you having second thoughts about Gwen? No, 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 no. See, we are made for each other. We always have been. You know, but I can tell that Whitney definitely has you thinking differently. Oh, well, I don't know, man. I can think all I want, but I ain't gonna change the fact that that girl don't want nothing to do with me, man. I mean, Whitney thinks she's from this safe, structured world over here, while I'm from some wild, just-do-it world over there. Yeah, that's too bad. No, but it is true that opposites attract. I mean, look at my Aunt Sheridan and Teresa's brother, Luis. Yeah, but I thought that didn't work out. No, it didn't. But it had nothing to do with their differences. Even people who meet and hate each other can still fall in love. <laughs> Slow down there, brother. I mean, me and Whitney just edging past that hate thing. Look, all I'm saying is just don't give up on her. And you two have a lot of fun together. I saw that up here. Just, just hang in. When I want someone in my life, it's going to be someone rock solid like Daddy. <laughs> Not someone like Chad, who has zero goals and no future. Chad Harris is the last person in this world I would ever think about falling for. <clears throat> Chad, Chad, I'm sorry you had to hear that. But ignore her. Whitney is always saying awful things like that. I want you to know that I do not feel that way. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs>